When the pre-K program started several years ago, Alabama educators hope for the best. Today, teachers say their efforts are paying off with real success. It's called the first class pre-K program, and studies show students who participate have the best chances at success in the classroom. Victoria Bailey has more. This is really good news. Pre-K students have narrowed the gap in reading and math skills, according to a study done by UAB and the Public Affairs Research Council. Lower income-based and minority students are benefiting the most. Pickens County Head Start Education Manager Vanessa Hopkins says they have to have a plan in place to help the students and the program be successful. We're using uh, the teaching strategy curriculum. And it's not only a, a curriculum, it's an assessment that we use. And so as the children are learning studies through the curriculum, they're getting, being assessed. And so with the two combined, it's kind of like putting them ahead of the other children. And I see increasing their math and literacy skills. Like Hispanic children who leaped to a 71% improvement in math and 31% improvement in reading, with 26% African American students improving in reading and 37% in math. And Hopkins says it's not just the teachers contributing to those numbers. There are 16 learning centers, and in all those centers, the children are learning something, some kind of skill from those centers. And so when you have Hispanic or other minority children in the classroom, the children learn from each other. So where you have children that are excelling low, when you combine them with children that are at a higher level, they pretend they often um, feed back off of the other of the other peers. Students are not required to attend pre-K, but instructor Evelyn Hinton says the children will benefit for years to come. Because they are first when they come to us, they are just leaving their parents. So they are basically babies. So we have to teach them those the beginning skills, all the areas of social, emotional, cognitive, language, physical, science, social studies, so all those areas. Have good manners, um, good social and cognitive skills. Uh, and it makes them good long life learners for the community. And I can say that our children are ready for kindergarten when they leave. In Pickens County, for WCBI News, I'm Victoria Bailey. Due to the limited number of first class pre K classrooms across the state, students are selected for the program through a lottery. Enrollment for the 2018 2019 school year is open.